In the previous lesson, we talked about doors. In this video, we will make a physics door. That is, we will only go towards it and it will open in the direction we go. Just like in Outlast, let's get started. We start by creating a new blueprint actor. As in the previous video, we add the door frame and door mesh. We activate simulate physics for the door mesh. Now we will make a few settings. I set the weight to 150. I set the angular damping to four. We don't need the linear damping setting because the location will not change. Only the rotation will change. We have come to the important part, constraints. Let's lock all position axes. In rotation, let's lock the X and Y axes. The door will rotate only on the z-axis. But of course, we don't want it to rotate more than 90 degrees. That would be ridiculous. We add a physics constraint to prevent this. Swing 1 motion should be limited in the angular limit section and the detail section. Swing 2 and twist motion should be set to locked. We also set swing 1 limit as 90 degrees. If we look closely, the icon on the pivot has changed. If we change the swing one limit, this icon will also change. Now we will make the physics constraint affect the door mesh. A little above in component name one, we write the name of the door frame as it is written in the components. In component name two, we write the name of the door mesh. We tick, disable collision. We do not want the frame and the door to hit each other. We make the projection angular tolerance value 90. Now let's test it. What if we hold the door open with our hands? Let's do that. Let's create a new blueprint interface. Let's call it a grab object. Let's open it and make the function name grab. I need one more function here and let's call it release. I will use the right mouse button for grab. Let's enter the character blueprint. Let's add the line trace node to the right mouse button action node. We did it in our interaction system video. You can access it from the link above. Let's make length 350. We will do a validation check. We will also check whether it hits the grab interface. Let's also define the hit actor as a variable. Let's call it grab object. Let's make the variable type object. Let's connect this set variable to the grab message node. Compile and save. Let's go back to the physics door blueprint. Under interfaces in the class settings section, let's implement the grab object interface on the left, we now have two different functions, grab and release. Let's move to the event graph. Let's call the grab object function. We need to stop the movement of our character while opening the door. Otherwise, it will be difficult to control. Call the get player character node and connect the character movement node. From here, let's connect the disable movement node. Then get player controller and set ignore look input. New look input must be true. After this, we need to do enable input. Target should remain self. Player controller should be our character's player controller. Now we need to move the door. First, let's call the input axis look right node and add a custom event. Let's call it door movement. We need a float type variable here. Let's call it amount. Since the door will rotate on the Z axis, let's connect the node to the Z input. Let's take the door and call set relative rotation and connect it. Now let's get the relative rotation of the door. Let's connect amount to make rotator. Let's make combine rotates with make rotator and connect the result to new rotation. 
compile, and save. Let's connect door movement to the input axis. Look right node. Axis value should also be connected to a mount. Now we can move the door, but we can't let go. Let's go back to the character blueprint. Let's take the grabbed object and control it with is valid. Connect it to release on the right mouse button node. Call the release node from the grabbed object, that is, the function from the interface. Set the grabbed object to null. Let's go back to the physics door. Let's call the release function. Actually, here we will do the opposite of the grab function. Pick up the player character. Set the movement mode from the character movement. The new movement mode is walking. Take the player controller, reset the ignore input. Disable the input. The player controller is our character's player controller. The target is himself. Let's test it. Yes, it works fine, but there's a problem. When I move to the other side of the door, my mouse movement is reversed. It bothers me a little bit. We need to fix this. I'll use the formula I used for outwards doors in the door systems video. I'll leave the link above, only this should be... I'll leave the link above. With dot product, we were finding where we were standing on the door, and it was returning us a plus or minus if. Now let's multiply the amount value in door movement by float and connect the two values to a select. We will also connect the result to the z-axis. We will check if the dot value is greater than zero. Let's connect it to select. False value should be minus one, true value should be one. Only this should be get player character. Yeah, it's working like I want it to. We can make a simple tweak. Let's add a node where we can adjust the sensitivity of the door. Let's make the axis value value multiply by float in the physical door blueprint and connect it to the amount. Let's make it 0.1. The door opens slowly. We may want to open some doors slowly. If you increase this value, we can open the door faster. See you in the next video. If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.